Alrighty. Welcome everybody. Let me just get this last. Okay. Trying to grab a mosquito, man. These little guys are coming for me tonight. But what's good? Shout out everybody always hopping on early. You know what time it is. It's Micro Mondays, guys. Let's go. How's everybody today? And how was you guys' weekend? Let me know what you guys were up to this weekend. If you guys might have noticed, caught me uh, slacking today. It's been a long weekend for me, guys. But uh, flyer or no flyer, we do Mondays always. Micro Mondays. We got a whole lot of stuff to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and send Mark the invite. And you guys have been patient enough too. And if you are joining early, you see this Cow RC mat. Just want to say a big shout out to Cow RC. Thanks so much. Cow RC is wanting to bless you guys back with one of these sick ass uh, new stealth carbon series. A uh, rubber work mat with the laminated mag mat. So if you guys are hanging out, please stay tuned. Please, uh, if you're not always like, giving them a follow, follow Cal RC. I'm trying to get Mark in. Maybe he's taking a while to set up. But stay tuned because towards the end of the show, guys, I will be pulling a lucky winner live. You have to be watching live, guys, in order to win. I will be doing a spin the wheel. It's basically just going to be everybody who's tuning in will be thrown into the live uh, poll. And one click, one go. No invite. Let me try again. Last week we had a little issue with the audio. Let me try and uh, go live with Dirt McGirt, it says. If you want to do a uh, send a request. Oh, there you go. See it? All right. I'm sure you can see me. I don't know if we're having that same issue again on my end, but. You're on? Yeah. You can't see me? <laughs> no. Oh, not again. What? Yeah. I know. I even got your swag out. Damn. And I had stuff to show you. I know. Oh, well. I wonder if I can try and join on another account and see so we can see the after effects. But if you guys can see Mark, let everybody know. That's the main thing, guys. Damn, Mark. It's always in this Insta <laughs> acting up lately. This, these updates, they always do. But if we're good to go, guys, we're good to go. Welcome, Mark. As fast as you can up to. Yeah, okay. We're good. They see us. <clears throat> All right, cool. What did you do this we'll week, just week roll again, it. buddy? Oh, uh, went on the indoor course for a little bit on Friday. That was super fun. Um, did some paint and stuff and a lot of wrenching. Trying to get ready because it's finally cooled off here. Oh, nice. It's so I, getting some peat preventative maintenance going on some trucks. I haven't even touched my 110 since like July or something, June maybe. See, <clears throat> yeah. kind of, like it's been well overdue, oh. man. Can't wait to see yeah. what you've been up to. See all your trucks on the trails and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm ready to go hit some hard lines. You've had a lot of builds. Yeah. You've just been piling up pretty much. It's been so hot, Dude. you couldn't really take them out onto the rocks. Yeah, yeah there's probably one, two, three, four or five my micros that I can think of right off the top of my head. And then uh, my G speed got the, the makeover right at the end of the season. So that'll be out there with a new body. 
Um, I was going to get some Megalis, but they're already sold out. So I guess I'm not going to get some Megalis. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just run my test. Fuck it. If you guys were lucky enough <laughs> and saw, well, we might as well jump into one of the topics right now then. Guys, Jay Costa, they've been dropping heat lately. If you haven't tried, uh, like, a J-Concept, you know, Tusk or uh, Landmine, you know, they have them for the SCX-24 and the tiny uh, 52-millimeter versions. Well, now, guys, the Tusks are available as well as the Landmines in a 57-millimeter size. So that's... Pretty much the standard medium size, you know, know, that we come to love love that fits a lot of the bodies better, like especially the TRX-4M. That's the standard wheel size or tire size. But now we got tusks in bigger size, guys, so pretty dope. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting, you know, the J-Concepts. what are these ones called? The ruptures. Ruptures are dope. They are coming in the sixty threes. So if you want those tusks, they're probably going to be right perfectly scaled down at the fifty seven. What do you think, Mark? Oh yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Plus, they're not just. I mean, it's not just for TRX. So anything like in the same range, fifties. 56, 58, like these Endura tires you can't see. Head over I can swap those in. Dude. Sorry, I'm a fan of J Concepts, man. And <clears throat> they make good tires. Yeah. I, I guess uh, they're saying that they've been, they're sold out now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The Megaliths, is that what we're talking about? Oh, Megaliths. Probably. Well, if you guys are in the market for the 57s or of the uh, Tusks or the Landmines, they are in stock right now. So go ahead and grab them. They fit, you know, TRX-4Ms and uh, SCX-24s. So I'm actually curious, Mark, if they say it fits TRX-4M wheels, if the, if the bead is now larger. I don't know. It's a good question. Because that could ruin my plan. Oh, really? (laughs) And, Mark, they are not sold in the fours anymore. Yeah. They are sold in the pairs. I have two sets in my uh, cart at the moment. But, guys, these are not. Nice uh, compound. I bet the landmines will work a lot better in the larger size. Really get those lugs working good. If you guys were to pick some up today, what would it be? The landmines or the tusks? And it's hard for me to to get some, but I'll see what I have to do tonight to get some. <laughs> I'm waiting on that direct deposit to go through. Yeah. So they're in stock while we're at it, guys. So take advantage of that. Um, but, but there's a new uh, truck actually now we've all been waiting for. It's finally, the SCX24 Axial uh, Power Wagon is now out, guys. So go ahead and order. We actually got a heads up from KZ Lazy. You guys follow him on Instagram. He uh, told us that he got the confirmation that his uh, package or his pre-order shipped out. So he's probably about to grab his either today or tomorrow. But I think he's out for you know, too busy right now. I think he's working right now. So let us know, guys, if you already snagged one, if it's on your, it's on the way, or, or if you just in, went. Uh, they've been in hobby shops, too. 
Oh, half my buddy grabbed the only the only one that came to our local one. He got it. Damn. As if he needs another one. He has like 500 RCs. That's what I was gonna ask too, because I didn't. I did see a couple of hobby shops over here. Uh, Marty's Hobby Shops, guys. If you live around uh, Simi Valley area, they might have a couple left. But that's pretty badass. I'm waiting for uh, PCH Hobbies over here to carry some in stock. There you go. That is definitely dope. And then the trailer. Did you figure out how much that that costs? Oh, I don't know. I didn't look at the price. Does anybody know how much the trailer was? Put it in the chat. You can look it up real quick. I'm not saying you can't have too many RCs. I'm just hating on my homie for being the only one that got one. That <laughs> the SCX24, the Power Wagon, is only uh, 159 also. Oh, really? It hit at 159 yeah. That ain't bad yeah. at all. Oh, you know what? Speaking of other new trucks... Did you watch RC review of the uh, FMS uh, forty se or eighty series with the portal axles? No. Have you seen that yet? No, I haven't. He gave some pretty good insight on that. Uh, he tried to mostly compare it to the TRX. He had a few miscues on his what he was saying. He was saying that there was a one thirty in the TRX versus the one eighty in the fms but they're both 180s uh, other than that it does have oil shocks portals it sits a little high it has a big ass battery which i don't know me and you aren't a fan of but some people are for trailing and stuff two speed just like the fcx um it actually looked like it crawled pretty good right out of the box yeah just sitting a little, sitting a little high <clears throat> but yeah, cool. it looks. I mean, obviously that body. You know, that body is amazing. Yeah, super nice guys. If you were, if you guys, I think we asked you guys uh, last week. But if any of you guys did, did follow through, did you guys pick up a uh, Fury Tech FX one eighteen, or did you instead grab the FMS, the new uh, FCX one one eight or eighteen? And let's see, coming back over here, Martin. Yo, I would probably, I would still would want the. Uh, I don't know, man. I've been actually seeing some homies pick up the uh, Fury Tech one, and it's looking pretty, looking pretty good too, right out of the box for performance wise. Steve has a UTB. UTB. <clears throat> Not 18 scale. <laughs> oh, I finally get to paint a UTV body. Brandon Fireline is sending me his. Oh, nice. That's going to be fun. So I've done, I don't even know how many 24 scale and 18 scale Hilux bodies. And I only did my 110. Dude, it's, you, the, it's a tower over the SCX. It's not even close. Oh, yeah. I think mine's uh, uh, stored away right now, but let's see. I can show you something. What's, uh, it's cool, but it's only 2S. What's that? So here, here's like a SCX24, you know, V3. And then here's a UTB18 <laughs> 155, you know. Yeah, not 18 Full size. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why Axial did that. It's just so confusing to people. But what is one eighteen, guys? I got it right here. Not in person, but Proline. Oh yeah. Proline now available. They're one eighteenth big bore shocks. So if you guys have seen the big bore shocks on the SCX twenty fours, I've been liking them. Mark, you got your setup. Yeah. Yeah, you can't night. see it right now. I know. But I'm literally doing my oil right now, and I have it in a prototype flub to hold them all. Oh, you'd be proud. Oh, nice. I like them. They're, they're super smooth. I mean, it's what I expect from ProLine. Um, yeah. I'll let you know final thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. For the TRX 
for him. I'm sure they're going to be pretty smooth too, guys. 50 yeah, bucks, and though. They better be good. working That's real That's what good. they're talking about? 3S. Oh, only 2S for the Fury Tech out of the box? Is that what you guys are talking about in the chat? Oh, wow. But there, there is an update for 3S is what someone said. But it's Fury Tech. You, you, you just swap out your ESC. Whatever. It looks like right here, uh, Mark, I see two yellow springs, two green springs, and then four red springs. Which is what? Soft, medium, firm? Yeah, so like mediums, softs, and then firms. And four of each, right? I think I no, read that. I, is it four of each? It looks I like think, I only see this. Yeah, I think when I read the description earlier, it said... No, two green, oh, two yellow. Okay. That's a bummer. Right. Hopefully so, they'll sell those springs separately. Hopefully they will. Definitely. But definitely, I uh, just see, I feel like for a TRX4M, definitely soft is all you all you really yeah. need. Medium yeah. in the back yeah. is perfect. Yeah. So... Shout out to ProLine. They already got you tuned in, looks like. You don't need to go to, you know, buy aftermarket or the Traxxas Springs to fit your aftermarket shocks like in Jora or anything like that because I think that was one thing that they didn't offer was different spring rates. So a lot of guys were, were, were waiting for that. Me, personally, I was just swapping out from the whatever they come with like the glob act ones to i just put the tracks uh springs in there and while they weren't a perfect fit they still kind of hang in there yeah i ran uh low c uh mini t springs with like a draft textile setup on my glob cap shocks that shit's nice yeah. Again, I can't uh, show you because you can't see me. <laughs> I know, bro. I, I, think, I think you remember me showing you that, though, right? Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure, bro. Mm -hmm. cool. I wanted to show you what's pretty cool. Everybody's getting the winches down lately. Mark, I still want you to put a winch uh, RS40 from NSTRC. I got one, and I got it. And it'll go on something super secret. Ooh. So you'll damn. see it soon. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, if you guys know the homies 3 Flow 9 RC, I think I showed you their sick uh, axle uh, winch on axle mount. That was pretty cool. But, but now they have these little land anchors, <laughs> Mark, so you can get two different kinds of land anchors and they are grade five titanium. So well, they actually hook pretty good than counting on just one little tiny hook. <laughs> if you really want more grip oh, but like that. <laughs> I know, right? But these okay. guys have been uh, making some cool stuff lately. I've seen those work for one tens just fine. So I can't imagine it won't, wouldn't be good for a uh, micro. Yeah. Did you remember how much they were? Or is it yeah. on the website? Yeah, I'm here right here. Looks like they are 16, 17 bucks. Oh, looks like they're sold out, but looks like a couple are left. So probably like 20, 25 bucks, depending on if you got to pay shipping and taxes and all that stuff. But Check them out, guys. So that's pretty cool. We got a winch, you know? Yeah. Just add something. Not a, there's not always a winch point. That's true. <clears throat> I'd probably make it so I could hook my winch hook onto that if I needed to use that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have it handy. Steve, oh, yeah. you're going to be proud, buddy. Even though you can't see it, I finally stepped into the Super 8 game. And they came. <laughs> they came. And I haven't even opened them yet. Finally, bro. Yeah, buddy. So, 
So I want you to open them. Open them where you can still have them in the bag. Open them and take a look at them. Let me know what you think of the quality. Oh, I mean, I, I've seen them. I just never had my own. Yeah, I feel you. It's, it's good quality for sure. For that price, dude. Oh my god, you get a lot. And then for me, I'm not even. I'm not even mad that the front has the stock because I I like to run underdrive. So I'll just take out the overdrive in the rear, drop some underdrive in, lube it up with some some cow, some moo, oh, and then and uh, be rolling. Speaking and of what's, what do you have yours on? Yours on that? What was that buggy? Mine's actually chilling oh, on the uh, killer yeah. chassis, the uh, Pro XS. Yeah. So now that they're in stock, I'm considering should I buy another front axle because that's kind of like, kind of what I've been waiting for. Oh, there so you I go. So I can do the uh, four wheel steer setup on this. There you go. Or uh, maybe I just need a whole another set of axles. <laughs> So I'm probably thinking of buying another uh, just complete set, Dude. and or two front axles. I think is all I need. Yeah, yeah two front two, axles yeah. is all I would need, so I can keep the rear for one. And that then, would be a cool yeah. option of him to offer. Sell two fronts. Real yeah, quick. yeah, and the and like a drop down on his website. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're I nice, like man. I, I'm a fan. I, I'm not going to run wide-ass axles on a lot of things or, or many things, if not any other thing than what I'm planning on building, but I lied. I, there's two things I want to run them on. Yeah. For certain builds, for sure. I think, like, you're going to run big tires and you want that wide stance. Definitely a little bit longer on the wheelbase, so XLs or... You know, something longer than, say, like a 142 or something like that. But, right. you know, to each their own builds. Seen some sick builds, a whole bunch of stuff. And I think it's time we get to showing you guys this new cow product, too. You guys, read. Oh, there was you know one why? more thing, Steve. Show me. Before you do that. Two things, yeah. actually. That hard park, hard goblin cantilever chassis come on now oh that's dope the hard goblin it's called yeah, thank hard, you yeah that hard goblin is now available it's what, like i'm torn between that, buying more tires or that chassis it's available let me look it yeah. up for uh, the homies. it's like i want to say it's 79 if i remember right and they yeah, recommend using the stock SCX24 shocks for the rears. Oh, really? Which I found really? very interesting. Because we all got a bunch of those laying around. Now we do. Check it out, guys. Hard Park RC. If you guys have been looking for a kit that is pretty sick for, you know, hard bodies. Right. Aim towards hard bodies or something different in general. Uh, if you want it to be like clean, no having to cut through the beds, showing the shock towers, especially nowadays, they're probably trying to implement some crazy uh, rules and stuff. But it looks like, yes, 80 bucks. Yep. I'm trying to get this thing to pop up. If we can see any up close pictures. It's a sick setup. I like it. So there it is. This is what I can see the best. And then you also try out the, their own transmission, too. There's a cantilever setup, guys. Now let's clarify that a cantilever is not a flex blade. It doesn't make the shock longer. It just makes the shock travel this way. He says it's a little bit, it gets a little bit uh, stiffer. As it's like a per the farther you go down, right screen, yeah, yeah, pretty interesting. You know, that's a really good question. I don't know. Can you tell if the shot can be placed in different locations depending on the the wheelbase length? 
or is it are you bound to a wheelbase because that is a really good point that i didn't even well, think it looks of like you only know. have one little setup right here so depending mm. on how far your shock can travel that is true you know you can only get so much adjustability in, in those things so well, what about on the uh, the cantilever pivot point itself let's see great point point very good point you know no nope, it's only one mounting point on that too i go. guess you could effectively get longer shocks and either limit them to like where you want the travel drill holes drill or, yeah, holes here or, yeah. yeah cool idea cool definitely sick i Mark. Learned what body did they design that around maybe the toyota 120 that's back oh like this yeah, one right here like oh weird that you have one of those <laughs> <laughs> just chilling hey did that come molded in red uh let's open it guys i actually oh, opened yeah. it already let's go but take a look at, at it, guys. If you were always curious, this is the new model from the re re-release re of a re 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 re. re, re. It even says it got me messed up because I was kind of reading it still too. But you know, two thousand twenty-three. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But then it they get over here. It also says round two, right? It said one twenty-fifth. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, what? No, 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 but then it says 120th. 120th, okay. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to go by the picture. And then, you know, open it up. Still got the OG uh, water decals. Yeah. Water transfer oh, decals, wait, wait, guys. Wait, wait, with four Toyota emblems now. Cool. Oh, oh I know yeah. what you mean. Hell yeah. Can do all those details, guys. Get I may have may not gotten two myself. Oh, oh, still in white. Okay. Yeah. So still white. I'm okay and with that. Comes in white, guys, and then everything comes in this one bag nicely. And then what wasn't in the bag was the uh, tires. Still gotta like, you know pluck them off and windows and the red lenses down there and it still is amt okay cool we're yeah. not sure about that either so it is it's amt right too okay just the continuation of their <clears throat> re-release of the old Lindbergh yeah. models just bring it back you know fucking bitching hell yeah so i already got a head start cut out the uh <laughs> engine bay oh yeah you know, guys, clean. This is the uh, oh, what we're, what we're kind of stoked about. All this is that this is gonna bring back. Let me try and show you guys. We find a good chassis to kind of mock it up on, but yeah, I'll, you can't see again. See, but I'll, I'll throw a couple of mine out here. Yeah, throw going up. But this is basically the what would you say epitome of. The SCX24 hardcore hobby. This goes back, because what I'm putting out here right, right now, this goes back to the uh, low C, oh. MCRC okay. slash Trekker days. So, like, that one right there, that's a leaf spring uh, low C-based truck, and then that's a SCX24 version. Uh, I built yeah. that, like, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, probably. God, that's a long time ago. So these things fit perfectly, guys, on lots of chassis. The wheelbase, even for a stock wheelbase, fits. So anywhere from like a C10 all the way up to, if you really want to stretch it, you can probably do like a 142, but that would be a max, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's, and that's what this one is here. With it, it's pinched in the front, and I, had, I stretched it three or four, something like that. So it's not yeah. quite 142, but it looks good. But this basically took what I was trying to kind of say is that for me, Mark, 
this is what the body that I started with, the hard, you know, we all had our stock deadbolts, stock Jeeps, busting hard lines. But then when I see people, damn, I didn't know you can do, go to the hobby store and find these little model bodies and people retrofitted it onto the truck. So this was my first model body and I rode it, drove one long bed still and everything. And the way it drives, it just takes the driving to the next realism for me. And then once I, you know, started driving it around, I started getting hooked. I'm like, damn, it's looking so good already. I don't have to do much to it. And, wow. you know, just paint it a good color. It's, you're different. That's you what's going to so start. Many different ways, dude. It's like, it's like the Mojave body from RC Pool Drive of Arsco. Yes, this is like the, if you want to start your first hard body, if you guys are getting into the SCX-24s, now you can pick one of these up. And, of course, we got a and whole bunch a of other, and it's a Toyota. <laughs> but we can't forget the other guys, too, are paving the way and are helping us out with, you know, body choices that we've been, we've been missing this one. That's all we've been saying. But now yeah. we have, like, Flub RC, WT Micro, you know, S3 RC or S SR 3D. Height. Height RC, like, you know, we got all our boys. You have to like, yell like, you're, like you're a samurai. <laughs> <laughs> we got everybody making sick ass bodies, basically oh, yeah. offering sick uh, options for the micro scene. But guys, if you want to try a tried and true OG one, Check out the AMT 120s, guys. Hey, let, me, let me cut you off real quick because Gino and I had a conversation about this. Go for it. Go for it. And you should invite him on to find out what we were talking about. Let me send him the invite right now. That would be a perfect time for me to listen and uh, we can do the tire wash demo there too. Go. Let's go. Leo, S sending you the in invite, my guy. If you are from, ready, from no rush. Micro Tuesdays in Guam. Now, guys, I'll wait for Gino to hop on. We got the new CowRC tire wash and hand cleaner. This just uh, dropped, guys. And I tried it on one set of tires already. I can show you right here. As you can see, it already brought back. Wow. This thing was dusty. Yeah, was. And I'll, I'll show you guys the before and after pictures. But see that white speck? Like, it's so sticky that I had it laying sideways, like, on my uh, scale garage cardboard. So it kind of even, weird. like, it says he's it up. on, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, it says so, right. he's on live. But he's not. Oh, invited. Never mind. Come on, Gino. Let me try, try, Let me try again. again. Sorry, brother. It's being weird tonight. All right, let me send him the invite. Hopefully, you can see that. So, guys, these are the same kind of dusty tires from Proline. And on this cool mat, I don't have to worry about getting too much stuff dirty. This can take all the blast. So, I'll simply just give it a little quick shake. There you go. It down. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. Ooh, I, can't too, huh? I can't see you guys, but you can't. But it's okay. At least you guys can hear me, and I'm on. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So happy um, Micro Tuesday. Happy Micro Tuesday, everyone. <laughs> uh, what's up, Steve? What's up, Mark? What's up, um, oh. I've been uh, yeah. pretty quiet in the scene lately. I've uh, been pretty busy with work, uh, keeping everything uh, moving here. Um, but it's been a minute since I've given back. Um, I've been trying to figure out a day when I'm going to do another comp. Um, I'm also, hello, am I still there? Yeah, you're yeah. good. Okay, we, cool. we hear you, brother, yeah. loud and clear. Okay. So I wanted to do another comp, but in the meantime, I reached out to Mark and I said, hey, buddy, um... What if we do a giveaway with that body I sent you, that uh, uh, Hilux body? So I was wondering, maybe we can get some, something going on the Micro Mondays or I don't know. I just 
want to be able to give back uh, to the community once again because I've kind of been out of it for a bit. So for you non, <clears throat> for, your, for you mainlanders, Hilux is the Toyota we're talking about. The yes, AP. the Toyota yeah. pickup. Yes. The 120th slash 125th now. <laughs> The one we were just talking about, yep. <laughs> to be clear. So, yep. he sent me one of those, and actually sent me two of them. And one one I'm going to do for him, and the other one we're going to do a collaboration giveaway. Yep. And I think so, yeah, you want to do it on live on here, yeah? What was that? Or you you want to do, do a live giveaway on here for it? Yep, was, yep. Okay. We'll do a, a live giveaway. I don't know. Well, maybe we should do like a last man standing kind of deal. Um, I think for one of those, you got to do it. Last man makes a suspense. Um, yeah, gotta, definitely. And I mean, I want to say let's give it some time. Let's give Mark a, a few uh, a few on it to uh, to get something going for the uh, give the me body. A, yeah, give me like a month because I'm a, I'm I'm kind of busy and I want to do a lot of good body work to do it because you yeah, got a body. Yeah and all that stuff so definitely definitely oh. or we, so we yeah man give it away and then the winner tells me what chassis they wanted to work with i don't know we could do it two different ways yeah i mean i mean what's a i mean let's see what the people say down in the comments i mean yeah. would you guys rather have it already preset where it's just a drop on literal drop on or you know if if it's something where you guys want to take the time and tinker afterwards and modify it onto something you guys have, I mean, I'm up for, you know, you guys being the ones to put the body on something. But at the same time, if it makes it easier for everybody, let's let's get it. Uh, let's get it going where, where it's just a drop in, you know. I want to kind of hype it up, so I don't know. I kind of yeah. Let, let me let me let me. You paint it and pick a scheme, a scheme, and kind of like get with you on what we're gonna do, and then I'll do like a, a if you need it modified further to work for what you got after that you works. win. I'll I'll do that. Let's do that. That works. That works. Man, I wish I brought a freaking RC with me today. I would have been <laughs> off roading at the same time chatting with you guys, but. Uh, <laughs> It was an SCX to work day today for me. But yeah, I'm going to hop off now. Uh, thank you guys again for, you know, getting me on. I appreciate you guys, you know, giving back to the community as always. And kind of wanted to keep the flow going by giving back uh, once again. Oh, yeah. You know, but yeah, man, a pleasure, I, brother. I appreciate you lot. guys a ton, man. You guys have been an uh, inspiration to me in this this com uh, this uh, hobby as, as well, you know. Yes, sir. So yeah, we'll we'll catch up. We'll Mark, we'll talk more. Yeah, let me Steve, know. thank you again for having me on. I appreciate all of you guys for uh following me and supporting me in this journey. Uh you guys have a good one. Gino, Peace. Thank you appreciate well. you, brother. We'll catch you soon, homie. Peace. He's in the future too, guys. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> and Gino. Love that guy. Damn. He shocked me when he, he said he wanted to do that. I was like, wait, what? I'm like, like you're on deck, dude. I'm about to do your shit. Dude, that so. was sick. I'm glad that he's doing well, you know. People like that, we always hit up. And nobody's ever forgotten in the RC community. Even if they're, they feel like they've been gone or missing. You know, everybody's always trying to hit each other up. I feel like, which is cool. Sometimes go rough, you know, but we're always there to RCs to bring us together, you know. That's the main thing, right? It's supposed to be fun and therapeutic. Yes, and that you know what was therapeutic, Mark? I don't know if you saw what I was watching. I did. That was pretty amazing. I was trying to focus on Gino and watch what you were doing at the same time, and <laughs> uh, that was impressive. Like those yeah. things are brand new yeah quick and easy 
I already put them down over there on the cardboard, and you can see the. Yeah. I accidentally got them a little sticky again. White, That's but crazy. pretty cool, guys. And if you could see that the mat unharmed, unfazed, so it's ready to get dirty. And then when you're ready to wrench, you can throw this uh, mag mag mount on it, and it still has all the side pockets organizers that you need. So it's really versatile. And speaking of Cow RC guys, there's another new product that dropped Mark. And this is uh new if you guys like the black, you know, Cow RC, we like the they like the uh nice visible clear white looking style visibility mag mats. Yeah. But a lot of people lately have been digging the uh little bit stealthier kind all black look. So if you guys like the stealth look, Cow RC now has the Ugh. stealth series mats. So Mark, now Yo. you can get you who, know, wants to, who wants to trade? <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can get your sizes if you need the uh you know the soft pad mats or the flat mats, Mark. Yo. Peace is the man. He has so much cool shit. Yeah. And if you guys see the shine on them, that means they're laminated. So that's a new feature that they're provided. They come laminated. So you already get that protection from the elements. And the stealth one is super sick. Actually had, uh, still have right here. These are not... These are OG, OG. Couple black Cow RC little organizers, but they weren't laminated. So I'm excited to, you know, I think I might have to see if anybody <laughs> wants to donate for another Cow RC mat too. Because, man, they're addicting. Oh. You can see I keep yeah. getting them. I cut mine by mistake. Oh. <laughs> Stick a rig in it for the size comparison. So this one is the, they have two versions of the Stealth series, but I mean the Carbon series right here. This is the medium size. Ugh. So for a TRX 4M, you're going to have a plenty of room. Put all your parts here. Or if you want the bigger size, it will be more like the large size right here if you can see it's about, about a whole table's worth <laughs> so you let us know what's your preferred size of space do you have a little small space or do you got <laughs> plenty of space to work with dude these guys man, some funny shit the chat's going off i'm trying to go go in there i, I mean is is gino and brandon this is kind of <laughs> going back and forth though so. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Talking about all that. Yeah. Just don't cut it. <laughs> uh, Fab Works. Yeah, J Concepts, man. We're stoked to see. You know what I was actually... We we already brought it up, but I'm curious to just, just see. I'm actually going to probably order a pair of tusks. I'm curious to see if they're that super small SCX24 bead size, or maybe they opened it up a little bit more to fit you know, more wheels. But 57s would be perfect. Space shrunks. Yeah, the space gets smaller with the more kids you have. <laughs> uh, I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> or blessing, depending on how y'all look at it. <laughs> or both. I don't know. I'm not a dad. <laughs> um, Apparently your rig is infamous, yeah. Dude, dude I wish. He, she, she RC. Talking about. Well, definitely it was uh, you know, it, it looks sick out there. That's all oh, I can say. But at the campsite, it was fun better. driving around racing. People got to try it out. They were pretty oh. much having fun drifting, like catching just sick dirt drifts.
Like, this thing gets wild. I Yo, think it's almost too wild. At some, point, at some point, at some point, I might have to build one of those. That, that works. Don't leave. Right? Don't leave. We got to give away, buddy. <laughs> yeah. In fact, it's about time I start putting some names in. Yeah. Stick around, dude. It's good. That's a good Stick round. If you guys are here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's still in the chat. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. damn. We got some. Wow. We got some heavy hitters we haven't seen in a minute. 801 heavy Salt City Crawlers, have? Got No Chill, Mini Lines Back Again, Swamp Yankee, Rebel Con, La Cosa. La Cosa, let me know when you get those patches, dude. I sent them in the mail a couple, three weeks ago at this point. Crawler Co., Hood Wiz, Maga, what's up, RC Man 920, Knuckle Buster, Shant, Stouffer, Outpost, the RC. Wow, there's all kinds of pools in here tonight. Leon, Colimon. Colimon was cracking beach me up a second ago. House, huh? Dude, let me get this. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. This is a patch right here, Gino. Yeah. I got I got your shit right here, Steve. I'm gonna I will show it be off. throwing it in for uh, the Cow RC giveaway, guys. If you haven't checked these out yet, check my story. I did a little my. These were uh, rubber, brother. Yeah, they're PVC. PVC. Yeah, there you go. Made by the, the what good it? homie uh, seven eight six patch maker. So if you guys need patches of your own. Please feel free to hit him up. He's been nothing but top quality service, getting me uh, uh, how I wanted it and the size and everything. So it's, it's definitely, definitely dude. yeah. Super. Cool. Let me know if you guys have uh, backpacks or anything that you throw them on. Yo, and who made your pin? Because I saw Vic sent one today to Mikey. Oh yeah, you guys both have like the same Rick ones. And I, we got the same pins made, but you know, our own stuff. Just something for Pro Line, but uh, we actually got it made by. I think it was Sticker Meal. Check them out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can just get, you know, little bulk deals sometimes. They got them over there. Let's see. I'm over here putting names in, guys. So thank you for chilling with us. Yeah. But damn, a lot so, of cool people. Besides giveaway tonight, let me yeah. remind you guys to hit me up. Especially if I miss somebody. I, I realized I missed somebody, the black and yellow, a few weeks back. Hit me up for a slap pack. And I I don't know, life gets in the way sometimes and you forget. And then we reconnected on a chat and i was like oh man i forgot to send you slaps he's like yeah no worries I didn't show up i'm like no i didn't send them my bad so if you ask for some dm me again and i will be sure to send them out i have stamps envelopes and everything ready to go just uh hit me up free don't worry about it got you guys <laughs> don't forget the dirty custom shops is open there's a client build working right there steve you can't see it but it's the height Nissan hard body single cab. Oh, no way. It's in primer at the moment, so it's not giving away what's going to be happening. Did a lot of fucking body work on that thing, though. That was a rough print. Did you get it printed, or? No, uh, he sent it to me. Let's see. Almost done. Yeah, hit, hit me up. Anybody who needs some, hit me up. Like, DM right. me right now or after the show, either way. Otherwise, I'll forget. Just reading it. Uh, it goes in one eye and out the other. All right. If you guys are familiar with the giveaways, guys. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to run those same rules that we've been doing. And. And especially for the Cow RC ones, so make sure you're following Cow RC guys. Hit that follow on, on a go follow them. Come back if you haven't. This is how you'll be able to win. 
also make sure your profile is public if uh happens to be private or yeah so that way we're gonna check to see if you are following cow rc and that's pretty much much it just hang on tight whatever i have here on this list i'm not going to go back and uh refresh the list so it's whatever i literally just finished typing in here got to be on to win man come prepped stay prepped feel me Jeff so Jeff feels I know you guys feel it. All right, I might give you guys uh, like 30 seconds. You guys. Yo, Steve. Yes, sir. 90 weight needs big boards, bro. Oh, my God. They feel like some little draft techs or something. Oh, huh? man. A little faster, but that's smooth. Yeah, right. All right, my guys, you guys have been waiting patiently. You guys got to go to bed, bed, Mimi's, bedtime, whatever you call <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's been long. You guys work hard. Work hard for that RC money. So we're going to give you guys a, a little break tonight, thanks to Cal RC and Micro Mondays. Appreciate you guys. As always tuning in this show is so awesome guys we got huge support whether you guys recognize it or not we got all you guys tuning in pretty much every week so just want to say thanks and big shout out to you know dirt mcgurk aka dirty customs always joining dude killing it mark bro bro this shit's so fun yeah it's like the highlight of my week man like Mondays usually suck because it's Monday. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I always wake up and go, dude, after work, I get to wrench on RC and then do a show. Like, it's it's so fun. I don't even sweat it. I think I didn't. Did I miss two people or what? Just want to put you guys in there. I'll put you guys in there real quick. Because I remember you said Swamp Yankee and Heavy D. Yeah. I don't know how I met them. There. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me just make sure I don't have any uh, doubles. Appreciate you. All right, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it. I'm gonna shuffle again and here we go. No more adding. Let's go. You guys gotta do the rules though, so if you win, we're gonna check real quick. Ready? Alright, here we go, guys. Gina. <laughs> Who's gonna no take it home, baby? Cow R C style. Uh, I'm gonna go with someone random. Oh, oh. Is it the homie gardener? There we go. Have you, has he won before? Uh, I'm not sure. If we, if possible, I don't want to feel, feel like lame I know either. I, see, but I know I see the name a lot. If po possible, I want to see if somebody who hasn't won a Cow RC specifically prize take it home. So if Gardner, I know you've been winning, bro. And I still got stuff for you. I can send you a patch. But if you do not know, I'll throw some shit too, yeah. let me know if you, you got a cow RC prize or not, please. By the way, let me double check while we're at it. Whoa. You won the cap. Are you sh okay? Won the cap. That's what it was. You won your hat, didn't you? Yes, yes, my boy. Yo, I'm going to send you a patch and some new swag, bro. Patch and pin for you. But, bro, 
homies like you always tuning in. That's so dope, bro. I appreciate you. Big appreciation. Let's let's bless a, a new homie that needs to be blessed. We all need to be blessed, right? We stay blessed over here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Cow RC Matt. Stouffer wants to be taken off real quick. Hey, bro. Bless, bless you, too. Thank you. And don't worry, bro. I think uh, just send me a DM Same for here. being so generous. I'm going to hook you up, too. Same here. Hit me up, too. That way, don't forget, please. All right, here we go. Spinning it, spinning it. Stink? Damn, everybody stink wants to be stink out. Oh, yeah, stink one. Stink, send me a DM, bro. Please. That way, I don't forget. Been waiting for you all night, homie. All right, my boy. Here we go, here we go. Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? Thanks for the... Patience, guys, and suspense. Oh, I thought I took Cal Gardner. <laughs> but Rebel <laughs> Con? What? Oh, snap. Wow. Yeah, Joe. My boy Joe is at Pro Line. Oh, yeah. Rebel Con. Vegas homies in the house. Are you following Cal RC? I'm going to check. Oh, yeah. You, sp- you still have to win. win. Yeah, right away. Bam. Boom. Here we go. Uh, yeah, Rebel Con in the house. All right. Taking it home, home baby. Cow RC. Bro. You're that's, stoked. That's a good one, bro. Yeah. You're stoked. I know you wrench hard, man. You're going to be stoked. Well, and you know, if you guys, took some time out, man. If you guys are really, really stoked, I really definitely, uh, definitely recommend you guys checking out this mat. Cool thing is it's super all rubber, so you can bend it, fold it away, put it however you way you need to. It's not gonna break or anything like that. And definitely, if you have a, it's only like a few dollars additional. Recommend getting the mat too, laminated and ready to go. But everybody who has uh, decided to, uh, you know. Get their name out tonight of the spin the wheel. Please send me a DM so that way I can uh, Yo, say in. thank you to you. Yo, tell me in. Oh, you too. definitely hit up Dermot Gert. He's saying, and congrats, guys. And Cow RC, dude, they've been coming out with some super fire for the crawlers. And if you guys haven't taken a look and want to take your uh, oh shit. Maintenance to the next one level. thing before we forget. Yes, it's sir. It's right in the face on that. You can't see it, but I had my Northwest chassis uh, Cow RC oh, map that God. Travis sent me no. all week long. We got the 10% off Northwest chassis. Use code capital OCT10 from now, now until next Sunday, I think he said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So get your bully, get your coyote. Now's the perfect time to get that coyote or bully. There we go, guys. On the website live right here. There you go. Until the end of the week, 10% off while we were away. OCT10. Bro, Northwest Chassis, we love you, bro. That would have been the first thing, but check it out, guys. Now you can get 10% off the whole site. Normally, he's been blessing, uh, you know, specifically on the Coyote, but now the Bully for sure. If you're lucky enough to still have a pit bull laying around, man. Yeah. She don't sleep on those, man. These are sick. And you guys can get your winch mounts, too, for the NS. Yep. The uh, RS-40. There we go. Got a few winch mounts right here, guys, for the stock rails. So this is actually going to be perfect for the new four-door power wagon right there. You guys want an actual working winch for your power wagon? Boom. There you go. Quick upgrade. 
quick install and grab a patch from him too dude, dude. oh you were lucky enough to grab one of these bad boys huh dude he took travis is the man bro he just sent me that shit i had no idea i was like where'd this box come from volkswagen oregon i'm like what travis send me now open it up damn son yeah right support, you, you gotta, gotta support people like him because he's not in it for the dollars he's not in it for any kind of fame or anything he he's a he's an rc guy like straight up he just wants to make cool shit and share it with other people yes totally well guys that was a crazy episode crazy hour you guys got Dude. to see oh cow rc in the house we got a lot of shit tonight yeah if you guys showed cow rc some love tonight make sure uh you know feel free to check them out give them a follow but guys stay tuned because you never know what cow rc could uh potentially bless micro mondays with again for you guys congrats again on taking home the carbon series rubber workstation dude and you guys saw the proofs in the pudding i'm so blown away by that that was impressive that was dope yeah pretty cool hands on you can hear all the stickiness now that they're all clearing up getting sticky so check out the the recap guys you don't want to miss it out uh yep. we'll, we always have the re-uploads on youtube and of course instagram so appreciate you guys again and mark as always even though i couldn't yep. see you tonight all right man cool. it happens i you know you're there i know you're there a good one. <laughs> oh, last 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 psa last last, guys, last if you are in socal california this weekend you want to get rid of some rc stuff or you're looking to buy some rc goods on the on the low low because there's a lot of rc maniacs out here they just want to keep building 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 buying the newest things and not even using the stuff that they want to sell already so lots of good quality parts at the upcoming crawlers and coffee swap meet this oh, yeah. sunday i mean this saturday 7 30 a.m early bird gets the worms you don't know how that goes and uh, i'll be there guys so i'll definitely have a whole bunch of stuff um pretty good stuff if you guys need a budget build or looking for something in particular might have what you need and so our boy too says he's selling a lot of his 124 stuff i don't know if you live in socal or that area maybe you can sell it there or maybe you guys hit him up yeah probably next week we'll do a live like swap me on the chats if you guys have stuff you want to sell <laughs> just type it in the chat you know we'll go crazy yeah, go. yeah guys take care have a great week and uh hit us up later yo steve yo night brother thank you <laughs> night my so, friend appreciate you it, but i got the shock out for you <laughs> there we go <laughs> Let's go.